he could go out there on a the football field and, and, and get his chest caved in or get, or, or get injured within the first few weeks of his NFL career. You keep your options open as far as I'm concerned until you have proven yourself and as a result, the NFL is willing to afford you the stability that you're looking for so you can afford to give up on baseball. But as long as that is not the case, then you need to position yourself to make yourself as marketable as you possibly can and hold on to your options. I'm not telling you to have him play baseball while he's playing football during the season. You get, you get all in as a football player. But when the season's over... You don't lose those baseball skills. You keep them honed to the best of your ability while not trying to compromise yourself until somebody says you have arrived, you have nothing to worry about. Yeah, I think this is, this is all relative. This is really only a question that Kyler Murray can answer as far as whether or not he has given up on baseball or not. Let, let, and by that, let, let me put it this way, and Max, I think you kind of touched on it. In order for him to really see just how good of a quarterback he can be and just see what really is the limit for him as far as playing quarterback in the NFL, there's no way that in his mind mentally he can have an eye towards baseball and be thinking about what if and entertaining what if and or dabbling in, you know, in any way, shape or form, trying to keep his skills honed in baseball while at the same time being able to give all that he can to be all that he can be in football. Quarterbacks, it's just too hard. There's too many things that are asked of you as far as playing that position that, that, that baseball would just distract from both mentally and physically if he didn't right now just take baseball and try to, as best he can, set it aside both emotionally and mentally combined with physically. You can't do both, not at this position. This is not like playing running back. This is not like playing cornerback like Dion did. It's not the same. The... the the requirements for playing this position are just too great. So I think if there's ever – look, only Kyle will know exactly how much he is devoting to being an all-pro caliber quarterback, which I believe he has the talent to do. Only he knows. And he would be cheating himself. He'd be cheating the team that drafted him. He would really – look, he, he – I, I just don't think it would be something that would really – would benefit him if he really, in his mind and in his heart, was really torn and really was in any way, shape, or hey, form Lewis. devoting any energy to playing some – to doing something other than playing quarterback if, in fact, that is what he wants to do. Lewis, let me veer left here for a specific question to you. Covering the draft, knowing the teams the way that you do. Yeah. With Kyla Murray – even be considered as a number one overall pick if Clint K if Cliff Kingsbury wasn't the next wasn't the new coach of the Arizona Cardinals. Yeah, and likely no, he he probably wouldn't be. But that's but really, you know what? I'll tell you what. Look, the draft is all about fits anyway. It's all about marriages. It's all about things lining up for you, and that's how that's really how the draft is really dictated anyway. So really, that that doesn't really matter except for the fact that look, look, this is the place that really the things are lining up for him to be selected by them, all right? It, it really is, based on what Cliff Kingsbury has already said about the player, based on what the projected fit would be in this offense, given that they're going to run the same type of offense largely that they ran at Texas Tech. It just adds up for him. Whether or not he would be drafted number one overall if the, if the Cardinals were there is irrelevant for this conversation because we're not really – look, it, it's, it all, all it does is it takes one team in order to really like you in order to justify where you were drafted. And really – just because you were drafted number one overall doesn't mean, you know, you were worthy of being that pick anyway until ultimately you go on the football field and prove it. So for him, you know, that, that's, really, that, that's really an irrelevant discussion for me. But I, but I will say this. Because of what we're trying to talk about here, whether or not he can kind of play both positions and really maximize his potential, given his position, look, I would, I would say differently if it was a different position other than right. playing quarterback. But that's my, it just hey, can't, be, it can't be done. It can't be done that's my at the point. highest level. You're That's right. my and point. I, if I was, a, you, Max, if I was a, right. if I was a Cardinals fan, I wouldn't want to see him try because right. I want to, It's hard enough to be a successful quarterback. But I'll say this: it's like the four-minute mile, right? You know, someone's going to break it eventually. Mm -hmm. It would push the bounds of what we know, the boundaries of what we know to be possible. You know, when Deion Sanders did both, Bo Jackson, obviously, Deion Sanders. Bo Jackson was, a, was, was, was an all-star, but was really turning into a legitimate all-star caliber baseball player and among the greatest running backs of all time. Deion Sanders, I think, was the best corner who ever lived, and he was developing into an excellent center fielder and, and, and leadoff hitter for a championship caliber club in, in Atlanta. And so we see that's possible. Is it possible that someone could be a Super Bowl, you know, all-pro caliber 
quarterback and a great baseball player? Like, one day we may find out. And let me tell you something, that Billy Bean, of all people, you know, the sabermetrics revolution really started with his adherence to kind of Bill Jamesian principles. If Billy Bean is going to spend risk a first-round pick on a guy who is likely to play football. Can you imagine what that means? The analytics have said Kyler Murray's potential is as a baseball player. But, sure. It means that he he has but the Matt, chance to be like an MVP caliber I, player. I, I Bean wouldn't like, have done it. Lewis, you could speak to this more so. Playing the quarterback position is a different deal in terms of preparation and being in that no playbook. Question. To be able to split your time between two sports. There's no question. And look, it, you know, it's all going to be. It's all also a matter of like, what is what is Kyler's goal? What are what are his expectations? What are his personal expectations? What does he want to be? Look, if you, if you want to be someone who is trying to break barriers and do things that no one else has ever done, look, people have played two, posi- played two sports. People have played football and baseball. People mm-hmm. haven't played football and baseball at the quarterback position and then played baseball at the highest level and still been all pro. But maybe he thinks he can do it. I would, be, I would venture to say that he can't. I would venture to say that the chances are slim that he could do that. But, hey, only, like I said, and how I started off this conversation, or my comments, rather, only Kyler knows. Only he knows exactly where his heart lies and what he feels as though he can get done and what his expectations are. So it's hard to really answer whether or not he should give up on baseball because if his expectations are such that, look, I think I can do both, and I'm, I'd be okay if I was just a good quality, you know, top 12, top 15 starting quarterback and I was a solid baseball player and I got a chance to play both. If that's what his expectations are and that's where his heart is, then I guess, you know, if the Cardinals are good with it and, the, and, the, and Oakland is good with it, then go ahead and do it. But, look, when you're drafted number one overall potentially like he could be, I don't think you can do this. I don't think you can make it. Yeah. I don't think you can swing both like that. Which is why if he can, it would be amazing.